I've been waiting for this for a really long time. It's an FA Cup clash against Southampton. We are finally going to get a chance to test our metal against a team from another league. Do we have what it takes to progress further in the FA Cup? These are the Kingstonian Diaries. My name is Daljit. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button to stay in touch for more videos like this. Our team has done quite well. Uh, financially, I'm very excited because we, we have been making some money. Um, and that's because of us keeping a tight wage budget, depending on our ass man for recommend, uh, sorry, our DOF for scouting recommendations. We haven't gone, even our scouting budget, I've only recently raised my scouting budget. It's only done today. Right, I've only got EFL League 1 today. That's the first time I've, I've actually chosen a tier because I've not been using any tier and I don't use this. I, I, do, I refuse to use the player search. I only use Scouting Center so it has to come through the Scouting Center. Either free agent offers or my scouts come to me and make recommendations. So, so far that's okay. Uh, we have no scouts. Or, that means this is good, right? So my scouts are out. They're active. They're doing their work. Uh, in terms of finances, um, you can see we're doing reasonably well in terms of finances because of the tight rain on wage budget as you can see from here this is not too bad um, but the area of the game the one thing that I have not been able to achieve since I started playing this game is win the EFL trophy yes I know it sounds like it's, it's nothing right to most of you you probably don't give a sh you don't care about the EFL trophy but I do it's the only one I've never won and I want to win the AFL trophy. It's been my dream. It's my Moby. It's my, I, I am Ahab. It's my white whale. I have to get the AFL trophy. It's the one trophy that's eluded me ever since I started playing this game. It's driving me insane. So I need to win this. And I have been pushing my players through a, you know, I, I keep putting my players through this, right? So, I don't know. I'm, ta I'm taking a big risk in terms of what is doing to my injuries because I have players who are currently spending time in the medical center, right? They got match fatigue. They're all developing. There's, there's risk because they've been playing a lot of matches. The match loads have been heavy for some of my important players like George Bell and Tim Parker and Jack Steele. So it's a it's it's a risk i'm taking right it's a big risk i'm taking but i want to because that is a trophy i've gone after in terms of training now this is something that some people might not realize right okay look at javian smith he has been developing quite well in our team but this our my team is already tactically familiar with the system so i ignore what my ass man says about match preparation this means they are familiar with the system this bar here, which says position, role, and duty, has got three little factors to it. I'm only interested whether he knows the position and the duty. Because if I look at Javin Smith and I go to his profile, it rather, yeah, there he's, it says that he can play as a winger. He's positionally suitable. He's, he's green, basically green for uh, both these roles. Positionally, he has no issues. The, o the only problem we have right now is, yeah, in terms of attributes. Because it's ridiculous to expect him to have comp uh, a green bar for attributes because let's look at his attributes. He's, he's still a long way to go. I mean, seriously? He's going to get green for this? No way. So it's going to take a while. So he's going to do it. But this boy has been developing very, very well. And I am wondering whether or not this guy is going to be in... in I want to hang on to him until we get into the premiership because, I mean... For a team that trains on a muddy pitch, we've got really shitty training facilities. I'm, it's so embarrassing. Right? We don't even have toilets. Right? They, they probably, they'll probably dig a hole in the ground somewhere. And uh, yeah, look at him. So what I've done is, in terms of my transfers, on transfer history, so I've, I've gone out there and you know when they make a recommendation, like they did this, this guy came through our doors asking us, you know, give me a chance to play football for you. And I went, my, my coaches went, look, he's got potential, man. I mean, okay, dude, you're in the team. I don't care. We'll train you. Who knows? You could be one of the, you know, you could be our next player because he's not that far away from Javain Smith. So, yes, and we've been using, uh, we've been using Molten, but here we go. We've got this big game against Southampton, right? First, I, I'm, the EFL trophy is my white wheel. I have to do well in it. Okay? I've been pushing my team to the point where they're either getting injured, match fatigue, 
And now I've got this big match against Southampton to come up, and it's and I've got red cards as well. It's it's be it's not gonna be an easy day for me today. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> Hopefully we have no injuries. Okay, last minute fitness tests, uh, tactics, quick pick. Who do we have? Okay, we have uh, Will Evans, Bowman, Samson, Alan Egan. Who's this? Evan Brown. Sadie, Derbyshire, Luke Gibson. So this is an interesting thing, right? We're using a wing back as an inverted winger. So passing vision decisions not too bad. So that's why he's there. Okay. So match preview. Let's get away. Team selection. Submit the team. And Okay, so they are playing a Roberto Martinez has come with a 3 4 3. Well, this is going to be annoying. We're going to have to shut down those wing backs before they get into our half. Um, on top of that, we're going to put pressure on the keeper to make those passes. Um, this is uh, going to be quite a tough match. Uh, tactically, we are going to be narrow to encourage the wing backs high up the pitch. Hopefully it opens up sp some space. And then uh, I'm going to focus play through the middle. I think that's the way to go. And probably, um, yeah, I'm going to ask my team to be a bit more expressive. Might help them out against this team. All right, players are coming out. We're getting ready and the match is underway. First things first, I'm going to encourage the boys. This is a tough game for us. Early, early numbers are look, looking quite good. Uh, I'm going to ask them to be creative. Oh, so far, so good, right? Uh, Valerie with the throw, Tahi Chong. Gordon holds the ball up. He's out to Bell. Bell plays the ball to Javin Smith. Javin Smith comes inside, crosses the ball. It's to steal. It's the first shot that we've made. All right, we're going to demand more from the boys. Douglas Luis El Nani. Out to Widget. Widget plays the ball back to their keepers. Immediately forced to play the ball out. The inverted wing back. Inverted winger comes up. Plays the ball to Hanks. Hanks back to Bell. Bell shoots from outside. Okay. Looking good. The early going. Lee out to Hanks. Hanks out to Bell. Bell to Steel. Steel finds oh, Gordon. Gordon, we're going through the middle. Yes, he goes inside the box. Nope. Gordon back to Mellish. Hanks again. They work their way to the middle. Oh, what a start from Kingstonian. What a start. Yes. Mellish out to Hanks. Hanks to Bell. Bell to Smith. And Smith just rifles that from the edge of the box. Yes, that's a great way to start the game. Okay, our oh, shouts have the cop. Okay, the thing about team instructions, right? These are, sorry, these are shouts. They actually, you don't randomize it. There's a way of using it, right? So, we got it going, Mon. So, Redman, hopefully. Uh, now, the next shot I want to use is... Uh, I'm going to ask my boys to concentrate all the way to the end of the first half. Okay, Younger, Sese, Bell, Hanks. Hanks out to Smith. Um, Wignett, they're changing their approach and gone more attacking. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, this we can expect. Um, two wing backs now. It's gonna be space. We're gonna pass into space now. With a couple of minutes left on the clock, it's a great start to the game. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, Johnson out to Younger. Younger out to Bell. Bell plays it to Sase. Sase is one of those. Bell back to Smith. Smith. He's got options on the right. He's gonna use it. No, he doesn't. He goes down the f yeah focus play through middle. <laughs> Okay, that's basically what just happened. Okay, Chong. Out to Adams. Adams shoots. He's hurried. Okay, we're going to start the second half. Same same combination. Dressing room. Team talk. Uh, let's... This is... Yes, I got that option. So we're going to... Boys all motivated. That's very nice. Uh, tactics. Are, are we going to do anything different? Um, so far, I'm going to remove pass into space now. We're going to keep doing the same thing we've done, except when we start the second half, there will be the first shout, encourage. 
que before I encourage the boys. Got Bell. Out to Smith. Smith plays tried to play the pass, but he couldn't, but it's not too bad. I can see I can see moments there. Tahit Chong's Gordon holds the ball up. Oh, does brilliantly gets away from the tackle and then that's exactly what's expected of him. Okay, so say I'm like, you know, I know that he's not gonna come up until like uh, another 15 minutes or 60th minute. I came in, you know, and ay, 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 ay. We've conceded a goal. Should have been a bit more aggressive. Yeah, this is the width I gave up to them. They've gone down the flanks. And they've scored the goal. Now I demand more. That was a wrong shot. I wanted to demand more. Instead I got instead I accidentally hit push forward. <laughs> this is not looking this is not the right time for me to be making mistakes. Douglas Lewis out to Valerie. We are gonna see a lot of this. Okay, so maybe what I wanna do is I wanna see this match out. Okay, so we're gonna go wide. I'm gonna have to shut down those crosses. They're trying to hit us on the counter attack. <laughs> Uh, I don't think pass into space is a good thing. Okay, we don't. We're not using it. That's good. Fifty-seven minutes on the clock. Richmond is it's good work from the boys. We defend that. Sixteenth minute. Redmond with the free kick. Johnson with the excellent save. Tips it wide. Redmond. <laughs> oh no! We're gonna have to defend again. Redmond comes inside the box. Looks for a crossing opportunity. Gets a corner instead. They make a substitution. Oh, Mario Lamina is on? <laughs> they have Mario Lamina in the team? Oh, no. Okay, I, am I going to make any substitutions? No. The best players are on the pitch right now. Younger to Smith. Javi and Smith back to Bell. Bell plays with the Younger. Younger looks for options. Um, There's pressure on Dalbert. Okay, Redmond is under some pressure. They look... Okay, at least now we're putting some pressure on them. They are forced to work the ball back inside. But, they, you know, the quality is there. The team is so much better than ours. Johnson to Younger. The Chong. Chong. That was a brilliant through ball. Redman. Lee. Parker. Parker brings the ball away. It's a counter. It might be a counter if we get a chance. 70th minute. Do we have a chance to go to St. Mary's Stadium for a nice little cash day? I hope so. Yeah, well, I mean, it would be better if we can finish it today and go through to the next round. Talbot Mellish clears it. They got a chance. They clear the danger again. They are defending very well. Okay, what can we do? We might be able to make one change. Um, Tim Parker is now not having a good game out on the flanks. Right, so we can bring on Christian Sadie. 83 minutes, 84. We're going to have one last shout. Demand more from the boys. Chong blocked. Valerie. See, Steele puts it up for a corner. We have to defend a set piece. Redman cleared Chong now. Out to El Nani. Lamina. They work the ball out to Adams. He crosses. Nope. He's offside. Okay, we got we got a chance here. Johnson, younger. Bell, back to Hanks. Hanks looks up. Oh, he couldn't play the right pass. He's back. We have to defend another wave of attacks. Redmond. It's uh, cleared once more. We got a few more minutes. Younger plays it out. It's Valerie. Good tackle from Steele, but that's going to be a yellow card. No, it's not. Free kick taken. They can't do much with the free kick. The boys are defending quite well, which is unfortunate. Johnson, they had a very nice equalizing goal though. I have to admit, younger, it's gone to Sadie, but it's a good result for us on the day. We managed to prove that we are good enough, good enough to take on teams from the championship. Inito Jeda in could do with rest. No, we got that's the problem right now. My boys are being made to play in everything. They're playing they're playing in the trophy. They're playing the FA Cup. They play in the league. 
I mean, it's the same 11 players most of the time. So they're not getting much of a chance to have a break. Well, we played well. I'm Javain Smith has done really well for us. So our boys here, we've got Exeter. Then we're going to have to... We've got two away matches. The draw happens on Monday. Uh, but we are definitely going to be playing against um, Southampton again. And it's going to... We're going to come. There we go. After Walsall, away. We're going to travel away. And then we finally get a match against Oldham at home. So it's kind of a few few away trips coming up and maybe what I want to do in trading is uh, emphasize uh, defensive play right so I'm going to switch this to defending pure defending free kicks and then um, I'm going to change i um, going to give my boys recovery on this day um, this is uh, this is rest okay and I'm going to stick in uh, match preparation defensive shape then we come out of this um, again here we're gonna do defending defending pure i'm gonna remove this and give them match preparation defensive shape then match preparation attacking movement play from the back um, get some get some little um pre-match bonuses for this 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 is going to be a really tough week for us um defending corners or set pieces to get ready for the match against Southampton and then of course I need to <laughs> I need to rest here recovery and then we do a rest and then we do rest here okay so we get recovery rest rest and then uh, we get a chance to play against Oldham. And I'm probably, this is going to be a tough week. So I might make it lighter. Attacking movement, match preparation, uh, defensive shape, Oldham Athletic. Because look at this. <laughs> Come on, this week of Forest Green Rovers. Uh, then we got Cheltenham Town. My goodness, this is a crazy, crazy period, man. Attacking movement, uh, defensive shape again. <laughs> Then we come out of this, we will play Doncaster Rovers. <laughs> ah, boy, this is a terrific period of time. Look at this. We don't have a team big enough for all this. This is one of the reasons why if you don't get promoted from the lower tiers, you want to get, uh, you want to get these rapid promotions. It's really, really important for you to have a big squad. Uh, you, you can't just go out there and you know hope for the best you need a big squad so physical outfield there's no way i'm doing this okay, it is too it's too heavy uh, so again attacking movement and defensive shape that's it the, the boys are not going to get enough time to train you're just going to be going out there to play football recovery and rest and then finally yeah we might there's like a bit of time in between matches for them to get some training in so Portsmouth is really the one day in the week that they're going to get a chance to train so it's not too bad then finally I'm going to yeah then we see some sanity and then we return to insanity again oh my goodness it's really tough and it's only going to get it's only going to get harder once again to the championship the the, the um training is it's crazy. What about mentoring? I'm going to... Oh, yes. I haven't been doing any of this. I'm going to ask the assistant to assign. Okay. So I haven't really had any... As we haven't been doing uh, mentoring. <laughs> so I'm going to have to start doing mentoring as well. Who the hell is Callum Symes? <laughs> no idea. He's on trial. Why is he being mentored? So we're going to remove... We're going to remove that. Three is still fine. Uh, we got John Mellish, Alan Hagen... Fabio Saraiva, fairly ambitious. This is balance. He can work with this this group of players, right? So that's not too bad. Balance, casual, easy to discourage. Yeah. It's, it's about time, right? We haven't been doing mentoring, so it's a, I should start doing mentoring. Um, balance is not too bad because it's still okay. It's still better than low determination. Uh, so I've been slack in my player development. So we've drawn against Southampton. Our next match is going to be... is. We have this tricky set of away matches we need to navigate. And uh, we got Doncaster coming up. 
this is a big match for us because we want to beat Doncaster. Um, they they're gonna be a, we're gonna have to try and move into the first two spots. It's still there's still a long way to go. Forty two and fifty one. I don't think it's possible. I think we're gonna be we're gonna have to be happy with the playoff spots. But if we can get a good run going, I don't see why not because we could hold Southampton. We actually played quite well using Moulton. Uh, our tactic, which is basically um, the the tactic I'm using right now with uh, this team, uh, we've done okay so far. We Molten all the way. We using Molten quite a lot. I mean, some of the time I do switch to the Money's Revenge. This is my four two three one, which is at home. I I tend to use Money's Revenge a bit more. Uh, but this whole match against Southampton, I wanted to use the four one four one because it's defensively more rugged than Money's Revenge. But it's been a strategy of ours this season at home. Sometimes I use the 4 2 3 one Away, I use the 4 one 4 one And it's been solid so far. So our, our run hasn't been too bad. So we're going to return. So we might have a nice little payday, hopefully. Hopefully more than 100 people show up for the match between Kingstonian and Southampton at South St. Mary Stadium. We're looking forward to this little trip. And uh, I'm hoping that we can get a good run going in the um, the FA Cup. I still think we're in it, right? We can do well. We, you've seen how we defended. We defended quite well. We, it's The match didn't have a lot of clear-cut chances. I think only one clear-cut chance to Southampton. And that's why I like that tactic so much because it doesn't give away too many chances. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingstonian Diaries. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. You can always look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com or website. Once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and supporting the channel one way or another. You guys are fantastic. I love you all deeply. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.